Hi, I am Sagar Nagda, the co-founder of Nimap Infotech and Softa Solutions. So today I am going to show you how to remove the bad Google code warning after your site is hacked and also to take the preventive measures to prevent your site from being hacked. I'm sure most of you must have seen this warning by Google whose sites are hacked. Google just blocks it. It's a very sad scenario to have seen this warning by Google. But today we are going to see how to remove this warning as well as what are the preventive measures we can take so your site is not hacked. The very first thing which you need to do is open your website, go through your website page by page and remove all the bad code which is inserted by the hacker. The bad code will be mostly within the script tag. Script script. Okay. Remove all the bad code. Not only this, check your DB. Within the DB, some values must have been corrupted. And the I mean the values must have been appended by a script with these tags only. So clear all your code as well as the bad database values. After you have done so, register to Google Webmaster Tools. How will you do it? Just type on Google, Google Webmaster Tools. <coughs> so this page of Google Webmaster Tool will open. On that, add your website. Still opening here. So I have some of these sites which I have added to my Google Webmaster Tools. There is an option to add a site. You can add a site from here and then there will be some small verification process by Google like they will give you a file which you need to upload on your FTP and call that file. So this will prove that this domain belongs to you and you are the owner of the website. After you have verified the site. You just go on to the site and then click on health. <coughs> go to malware. So here as of now it says that Google has not directed any malware on the site. But if your site is blocked by Google then there will be a warning that Google had scanned this site last on so and so date and so and so time which uh, has resulted in blockage of your site so and there will be an option to scan again so just uh, you know click on scan again and then Google will rescan your site and your site will be unblocked this procedure is as simple as this after your site is rescanned by Google, your site will be visible to the users and it will be unblocked. Now let us see how to take some preventive measures so that your site is not hacked. The first and foremost preventive measures is change FTP details frequently. Change DB strings frequently. change db admin password frequently very very important measure which you need to take is do not store the ftp details in your ftp client if you are using filezilla or core ftp whatever make sure that your ftp details are not stored in your FTP client. Last and foremost, any suspected IP should be blocked with the help of your Windows firewall. So how do you do it? 
गुरु एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव टूल विंडोज फायर वॉल विद एडवांस सिक्योरिटी वॉट डू आई मीन बाई सस्पेक्टेड आई पी एड्रेसेज सो आफ्टर योर साइट इज हैक्ट यू कैन गो थ्रू योर साइट लॉग्स यू नो देर विल बी मेनी आई पी एड्रेसेज और द रिक्वेस्ट यू आर एल्स यू विल फाइंड दैट देर आर सम रिक्वेस्ट यू आर एल्स विच आर सस्पेक्टेड सो यू नो फाइंड आउट द आई पीज ऑफ दोज यू आर एल्स एंड जस्ट ब्लॉक दैम द एंटायर नेटवर्क First of all, activate your Windows Firewall by taking the remote access of your server. Then go to Start Administrative Tools, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security, Inbound Rules. Come to New Rule. Come to Rule Type. This is uh, Custom Rule. all programs all protocols these ip addresses here so which remote ip address does this rule apply to these ip addresses in which you give the range of the ip address of the url like suppose the ip address suspected is you know 192.168.1.3 so just block all the ip addresses in this subnet marks one dot 255 yeah so now when the hacker retries to attack your site or from any other machines in his network then the request will be blocked and your site will not be hacked this is one of the important preventive measure which needs to be taken